Welcome back to our subject, MSCO2, Living in the IT Era. And still, I am your instructor, Mr. Daniel Argarbo. And for our today's discussion, we will be talking about political, economic, and societal impacts and change due to ICT. So there are a lot of changes that happened in our surroundings due to ICT. And most of the impacts are good. And of course, there are always two sides. So some of the impacts are negative. Okay. So the three most uh, affected areas are the politics, the economy, and our society. So there are a lot of impacts when it comes to politics, such as from manual counting of votes to electronic counting, wherein the result is instant for our economy. So mostly the economy boosted due to ICT and for our society from personal interaction, it is now aided with online interaction. And to further discuss about these impacts, let us have this one first, the economic impacts of ICT. So ICT affects the economy in three ways. First, ICT investment contributes to capital deepening. Capital deepening means higher output per worker. ICT helps increase labor productivity. So capital deepening means uh, yung puhunan ng mga business owners or ng mga producers ay mas lumalaki. Okay? So this is because there is already some machines, some tools that can aid the workers in creating the product. Hence, the output are increased and the quality is also uh, increased. The second one, technological progress through production of ICT goods and service or services contribute to growth in the efficiency of capital and labor growth in the ICT sector. Okay, so production of goods through ICT are also increased because of the technology that are used to ensure the quality of the products. And since ICT is in demand, the ICT, the labor in the ICT sector or the jobs under the ICT sector are also increased. Okay, so mas tumadami na yung mga trabaho with regards to technology. Then the third one, the use of ICT leads to efficiency gains in individual, individual firms or network or spillover effects. Okay, so the gains, the uh, money obtained by the business, may it be big or small, may, it, may the business be independent or a corporation, is also increased through ICT. One reason for this one is because they can now simply use the social media. Okay? They can now simply use the social media to advertise their products. Okay? And, and as per Todor, Ritesco, Roman, and Anton, year 2018, the rapid expansion of ICT influences economic growth in the following ways. So first one, quick and easy access to information and knowledge. So we all know about this one. Information is widely spread through ICT. Faster and better communication for companies, which leads to reduced production costs and improved productivity. So communication is also increased. So Various companies can now speak with each other, they can collaborate for a certain product, and uh, they can work together in order for them to meet the needs of the consumers. The third one, ICT allows access to new markets. This leads to lowered capital costs because of financial markets become more efficient. There is also regional discrepancies in incomes and productivity and access to human capital is made possible through telenetworking. So new markets, so hindi na lang physical market yung meron tayo, we also have online markets. And then the regional dis discrepancies 
of incomes are reduced as well. So, kung dati meron tayong tinatawag na city rate or Manila rate, then provincial rate para sa ibang work. So, through ICT or if you will be working online, all those rates will be the same. Okay? Then, the last one, the internet promotes the sustainable development of entrepreneurship and small and micro businesses by reducing the difficulty of financing them by mitigating information asymmetry and reducing agency cost. So, using different platforms, you can promote your product. Hence, you no longer need to spend money for advertisement. However, there are negative impacts of ICT on economics such as job exports. So, job exports means you may be working in your country, but the job that you are working with is based in another country. So, alimbawa, online job, yung trabaho mo. Nandito nga sa bansa mo, pero yung work mo with regards to your online job is based in another country. So, yung service mo na ipoprovide mo sa ibang bansa, hindi para sa bansa mo. Okay? Then, automation will lead to job loss. So, since many machines are all, already developed to aid in production, so, uh, nalilimit na din yung employment ng mga workers, mga labor workers. And the last one, ito naman sa movie pa lang, sa mga movies pa lang ito nangyayari, artificial intelligence threatens to replace people. So, hindi pa naman ito nangyayari talaga. But there are some theories that state that if technology advances more, so robots and AIs may replace people with, with regards to their jobs. Okay, then let us proceed with the political impacts of ICT. So these are the impacts such as e-participation. E-participation is a form of online interaction of the citizen of a certain country with regards to their government. So, e-participation includes your uh, criticism to the government or your support to the government and so on. Okay? And under ICT and democracy, these are the things that we can do. Obtaining information. So, we should be free to obtain information about the uh, agencies of our government or the, the, the various departments in our government. Then, engaging in deliberation. We should be free to engage when it, when it comes to delivering uh, what we want to say or uh, we should be free to join different conversations about the government. Then, participating in decision making. So, we should also be free to state who we want to support and to encourage other people to support uh, who are we supporting to. Okay? Then, the next one, ICT promotes culture of openness and increased transparency. So, for government agencies, they should practice this one. They should be more transparent and through the use of ICT, they should uh, publish the information that the public should know. Okay? Then, ICT-based forums as sources of publicness and political accountability. So, there are forums, there are conversations or vlogs that we can join <coughs> for us to know more about the government, about the uh, projects of our government, and how we can either support or state our opinion about it. Then, ICT as a platform for citizen interaction and criticism of state operations. So, nangyayari naman to talaga. So, people are now posting what they want to say about the government, how they want to support it, or how are they criticizing those things. Then, the last one, ICT promotes sense of trust and reciprocity between citizens and the state. So, kung magagawa ng government yung openness and transparency through ICT. So, more people will trust them. Okay? And as per the so social impacts of ICT, we have here this. So, for relationship, 
ICT creates or strengthens the existing relationships. So relationships are strengthened. So if you have a personal attachment to a certain individual or to groups of individuals, so it will be strengthened through online interaction. Okay, alteration of existing relationships. So ito medyo masama ng konti because the relationship was changed. So for example, uh, from personal attachment or from face-to-face -face interaction, the interaction became online. One example is what is happening now during the pandemic. So from face-to-face -face classes, since face-to-face uh, -face interaction is prohibited, so naging online yung interaction or yung uh, communication between the teacher and the students. So, naging online new relationship nila. Okay, then the third one, creation of entirely new relationships. So, one example here is the what we call as the internet friends. So, internet friends are people who you met online but you do not personally know them. Okay, and you have no personal attachment to those people. Okay. Then, we have here some positive impacts of ICT on people. The first one is daily routine management. So, it's very easy for us to manage our schedule online and through the use of an application. Online banking and shopping. So, we all know and we all experience this one. So, online shopping is very in demand. Online banking is also in demand since you no longer need to touch uh, a certain money. Okay, you just have to scan a certain QR code to pay some something that you bought. Okay, then maintaining contacts and relationships. It's very easy to con to maintain contacts as long as you are friends with those people online or personal. So it's very easy for us to chat them or text them or call them. Then global awareness. So the news around us, not only in our country, but for the whole world is uh, widely spreading so it's very easy for us to keep track of what is happening in our world is here communication and information sharing so it's very easy for us to communicate so sending of message is very fast entertainment so there are a lot of things that we can uh, or there are a lot of websites that we can access to entertain ourselves such as video streaming websites or gaming websites or platforms or applications. Then the next one is education. So websites and platforms are now used for teaching students and even for learning various skills. Self-employment. So since uh, the pandemic, online jobs became in demand, so you can employ yourself uh, with those online jobs and work remotely, even without going outside your house. Okay, then the last one, health literacy. So health is now a big issue with the people due to the pandemic. So with the ICT, we are more aware of our health status and what do we need to keep ourselves healthy. Okay. However, there are some negative impacts of ICT on people. The first one is isolation of individuals. So some people tend to isolate themselves. So mas gusto nilang solo na lang at uh, online na lang makipag-interact sa mga tao. The second one, reduce face-to-face -face interaction. So face-to-face uh, -face interaction are reduced, nababawasan. So more people tend to interact online. And even for some groups of people who first experience face-to-face -face communication, ang nangyayari, since they got used to online interaction, kahit magkasama, sa, magkasama na sila sa isang lugar, they tend to look at their gadgets and communicate with other people online. Okay, social disconnect. So it's very easy for us to disconnect from other people. Okay, i-block mo lang sila. Then the people will no longer be part of your life. 
the digital divide. It means that people are now grouped as per their preferences. Job loss. When we say job loss, many people lose their job since uh, there is what we call as the automation of uh, work. So, madami ng machines yung na-develop na makakatulong. Pero since uh, na-increase na yung productivity, na-lessen naman yung employment ng mga labor workers. Then, effects on children. So, since madaming bata na ngayon yung exposed sa technology, so madami na ding harm yung uh, pwede nilang ma-encounter. So, it's very dangerous to expose children to technology without the guidance of the parents. So, kailangan bantayan pa rin ng mga magulang. Then, reduce physical activity. So, since uh, more people now tend to engage in online activities, so nakaupo na lang sila or nakahiga na lang buong araw, so physical activities are lessened. Then the last one, security or loss of privacy. So if you post your true information online and make it public, so your privacy will be compromised. Okay? So it does not mean that you should post false information, but you should be careful and hide some important information about you. Okay? And if you have questions, please write down your questions below. And for more uh, knowledge about the social impacts of ICT, let us watch this video. What are you looking at? Come on, make. Happy birthday, dear Arthur. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> what are you looking at? Come on, make a wish. Uh, oh, uh, sorry. Okay, okay. Make a wish. Make a wish. Thank you guys. That's amazing. Thank you, Kemi. <laughs> You're so silly. Well, you're friends, and that's what friends are for, right? You can all. Are you still looking for a better friend? Now, we can give you the best. The friend only you can see. Best friend, never be alone. Another machine, Kami. Sure, follow me. Kami! Oh, 
Watch your back. I, I really thought I was gonna lose you. What? Come on. I'm not going. Where? We are your friends. And that's what friends are for, right? Friends. Please. She's mine! Hey, you have me, man. What's your problem? <laughs> Best friend. And then never be alone. Hey. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so that is a video about one possible impact of ICT to the society or to our social skills as an individual. So as you can see in the video, the man engaged deeply into ICT to the point of addiction. Okay, so for this lesson, I hope you learned a lot about the impacts of society with politics, economics, economy or the economics and the society if you have more questions or clarifications about our lesson please write down your comments below so that we will be able to clarify about it or answer your questions for or with our next video thank you for uh, your attention with this video always keep safe and stay healthy